Welcome back to Buckeye Country Creations. My name is Sonia, and I'm so glad you're here. I love my family. I love to cook. I love to clean. I love to eat what I cook. And I love to visit flea markets and antique shops. And I love to travel this beautiful country of ours. And I love sharing all of my activities with you. So come along with me and join me on my journey at Buckeye Country Creations. Hey guys, you got plans today? If not, come on along with me. I'm going to go pick up my sister, pick up my best friend Jennifer, and we're going to hit some flea markets and antique shops in Searcy, Arkansas and Judsonia, Arkansas. So hop in the car, grab your jacket because it's a little cold outside, and let's go hit some antique shops. The first stop is the Freeway Emporium and Flea Market located in Searcy, Arkansas. I had seen this flea market many times driving by on the road from the highway, but had never had time to actually stop and go in. So I knew this was going to be the first stop today for my sister, myself, and my friend Jennifer. So we're going to walk around and see what interesting items we can find. And of course, my sister spotted this jelly, and I'm like, oh, I can't believe you're even considering buying that. No offense to the people that sell them the jelly, but hey, your sister makes jelly. Hello? Antiquing and thrifting is fun when you're on your own, but it's even better when you go with a group of friends and family. We had a really good time today, even cutting up and joking with each other and agging each other on, but it was a great time. And I was fascinated by these beads, not beads, buttons. I just couldn't keep my hands out of the buttons. I guess it's a tactical thing with me, but you could put all the buttons you could fit into those little jars and only pay $4 for them. Man, I just could have kept my hands in those buttons all day long, but they forced me to move on and continue to look and see what we could find. Like this thing. I still don't know what it is, even after the description on the tag. If you know how to use this thing, somebody... Put a comment down there in the comment box and let me know what that thing is for. And of course, I was attracted to that recognizable floral pattern that is Pioneer Woman. So I had to stop and look and see these things. And I thought, oh my gosh, Sonia, you don't need any more Pioneer Woman stuff. So... I did not purchase it. I was a good girl and I moved on and continued to look. At, oh, and look at this. I don't have a copper lantern. Oh my goodness, you guys. Do I need to get this? And look at these beautiful dishes here for your olives and your onions and stuff but oh they were just a tiny bit priced beyond my budget and you know me I found more lanterns and they were very inexpensive and this one had been switched to operate like a light had a light bulb in it or not a light bulb but a light bulb socket and it was only eight dollars and I really considered purchasing it Okay, if you're looking for the cutest little bunny platter or pot, this is so cute and I absolutely love this measuring cup. Measure your life by love. I almost bought this, you guys, and I may still go back and get it.
and look at this collection of spice bottles milk glass spice bottles with the rack aren't those neat so pretty and look at this beautiful pink vase so many neat things in this booth and here my mother had one of these an old wooden hamburger press she would make her hamburger meatballs and then put them in there and press them out into hamburger patties how neat what a great memory See, I don't even know what a pickling box is. Um, when you do your pickles, you put them in a, in a box, a wooden box. I thought that was it. I was like, what? And maybe this is the box. That's the <laughs> lid of the box. <laughs> the other part's not there. And I was like, sixteen ninety. That sugar crock. Yeah. That bad boy's mine. My friend was so disappointed because she thought she had found a pickling box. And she was going to buy it, but unfortunately, it was only the top of the pickling box. But look at this neat old mixer bowl made out of Pyrex. This was very unique. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. And this next item brought back so many memories. My mother had the whole set of the Salad Master cookware. And I remember that little bubble thing there. Tinkle, 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 tinkle when mom would be cooking something or boiling something. Oh, so many great memories were found today and rekindled. Brings back great memories. These old ice cream scoops were one of the most unique finds of the day. I don't believe that I have ever seen a bell-shaped ice cream scoop before. Very, very unique. Very rusted, but would make great decor. And then, of course, you know me. I'm going to spot the mason jars. Now on to our next stop, the Bees and Knees Upscale Flea Market. This place was so neat and very well organized with some beautiful booths set up. Very nice place to stop. This is also located in Searcy, Arkansas. And I bet my husband could tell me exactly what car this hood ornament came off of and what year and what model. So go ahead, honey, tell me what make and model car is this from? Today was more about spending time with my friend and my sister than it was actually looking for items to purchase. We are not promised tomorrow and time goes by so quickly and my sister and I are no longer spring chickens and we have our aches and pains but we all manage to still get around and if you are looking for fiesta wear this place is your honey hole any color you might imagine any piece of dishware that you need even a beautiful flamingo dancer cookie jar water pitchers, plates, platters, pasta bowls, you name it, it is in this booth at the Bees Knees Upscale Flea Market in Searcy, Arkansas. Just look at all these colors, you guys.
And this metal tray thing would make a cute decor piece if you put like little nests in it with birds or chickens or even just Easter eggs or whatever. And if you're looking for books for decor purposes, this place has books and they're all reasonably priced. Broken Arrow Antique and Rock Shop. Go in here and see what we can find. This shop, located at 101 Berry Lane in Searcy, Arkansas, is small, but don't let it fool you. It is packed to the brim with antique furniture, antique dishes, unique finds. I am sure you will find something you can't live without. Actually, this is the place that I found my greatest find of the day. So make sure you check out the Broken Arrow Antique Shop. And also, look them up on Facebook. They have a Facebook page. And I promise you, if you find something you absolutely cannot live without, she will make you a great deal. So go visit the Broken Arrow Antique Shop. Our next stop is the Old Hippie Antique and Vintage Mall, located at 1216 South Benton Street in Searcy, Arkansas. And my first find in this shop were these beautiful double doors. These would make beautiful interior doors if you had a bedroom that you needed a set of doors for. Gorgeous. And look, a crock bowl, I'm telling you, this place had some beautiful pieces too so if you're ever in Cersei, make sure you go by and visit john and nikki davis at the old hippie antique and vintage mall if you love old vintage and antique games the old hippie mall has these I have never seen this kind of game before, so if you're into old vintage games, here you go. And if you're in the market for a mobile kitchen island, here you go. This piece is absolutely gorgeous. And I am trying to talk my friend into buying it for her kitchen because she's going to be remodeling her kitchen and I'm pointing out that she could use this as a mobile island and she would have so much more room inside her kitchen. Check out that beautiful light decor made from old mattress springs, you guys, and Christmas lights. Isn't that a unique idea? And what a cozy area. Let me tell you what, this booth owner has it going on. Okay, time to head home. Gotta make that almost three hour drive back to my house, but I had a great day. Let's go home. Okay, well we just got home and I thought I'd share my thrifting haul with you guys. Um, this was one of my finds. It is, of course, as you can see, a smaller cast iron pan. I love cast iron skillets. It's a three inch and I paid $12 for that. Not too bad. I may have to do a little bit of reseasoning on it. And then I found this adorable iron. I was trying to think of what it's called. Sad iron. That's what it's called, a sad iron. And that's just going to be for decor in my laundry room to put on my shelf. And then I found if I get it out. <clears throat> this cute little bird for when I decorate for spring and summer. It's a little tea light candle holder, which I probably won't put a candle in him, but he was $4. Very cute. And then the greatest find of all was this crock. You guys, I found this crock, and you're not going to believe 
the Eagle, Pot Eagle Pottery from Benton, Arkansas. It's a pretty good size one. It's about the size of the one, maybe a little bigger of the one I ordered from Amazon. I paid, guess what, for it. I gave $20 for the crock, you guys. Can you believe it? Well, I hope you enjoyed the trip today and you had fun and you saw something that caught your eye. Thank you so much for going with us today. And a big shout out to my best friend, Jennifer, and my sister, Sheila, for going with me today. I know it was kind of a short video, but I really wanted to spend some quality time with them because I don't get to do that very often. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up share it, comment on it. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you again so much for supporting my channel. For all my subscribers and my viewers, I appreciate it more than you know. And I hope to next week have a video that is a decorate with me video using all of the thrifted items that I have picked up in my last two trips. So thank you again for supporting my channel. And remember what I always say. Make sure you take time to go out and make those memories with the ones you love. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.